Hi, I am Julian Bro. I am an economist and policy specialist. Today, I will be teaching you about savings, investments, the financial system, and the financial institutions in the US economy. We will start by seeing how households decide between consumption and saving. We will then talk about savings and investments in the economy. Finally, we will discuss the role of the financial system. Let's start with choosing between consumption and savings. Imagine that you worked really hard last year and you got a good annual bonus. What are you going to do with this money? Well, you can go on a vacation and have a good time now, or you can put the money in your saving account, which, for example, will take you closer to buying a house in a few years. This is how households choose between consumption and savings. Assume that you decided to save the money in the savings account. What are the types of savings in the economy? Your saving is private saving. Private saving is equal to the household income after paying taxes to the government and after all consumption spending, including that trip that you could take. The government also can save. Public savings are the difference between the income of the government, that is, the taxes that are received, and its expenditures. The state's expenditures or, for instance, spendings on education, healthcare, or welfare benefits. When we sum the private savings of households and the public savings of the government, we obtain the national savings. Taxes cancel out when we open the brackets. Thus, national savings are equal to all income minus consumption and minus government spending. We have all these savings now. Will it just sit there in a bank? Not really. This is where investments come in. Remember that the economy is a closed system, so nothing really disappears in there. For simplicity, let's assume that we are in a country with no exports or imports. Then the national income Y is a sum of consumption, C, government spending, G, and investment, I. That is because the income earned can either be consumed by households, that's C, by the government, that's G, or reinvested, that's I. As a consequence, investment, I, is equal to the difference between the national income, Y, and the consumption of households, C, and the government, G. This means that everything that is not consumed is investment. In this setting, everything not consumed is put into savings and those savings are reinvested. We have all these savings now. Will it just sit there in a bank? Not really. This is where investments come in. Savings turn into investments when they go through the financial system. Let's talk about that now. The financial system is the group of institutions that helps match savings and investments. For instance, commercial banks, stock exchanges, and central banks. In this way, the financial system helps to allocate scarce resources in the economy at any given time in the most efficient way. There are two main types of financial institutions, financial markets and financial intermediaries. Financial markets allow savers to directly provide funds to borrowers, for instance, through buying stocks and bonds. Financial intermediaries, such as banks, allow savers to fund borrowers indirectly. Savers provide funds 
to banks and banks provide them as loans to borrowers. The US financial system is made up of many types of financial institutions. Let's go through a few examples. There are commercial banks, for instance, Bank of America or Citibank, where households and firms store their money and receive loans. There is a central bank, which in the US is called the Federal Reserve System. It runs the financial system and guarantees its stability, for example, by lending money to commercial banks. Another example is the New York Stock Exchange, which provides access to financial markets where savers can directly fund borrowers. Let's look at a common mistake. In everyday life, we think about buying stocks as an investment. In fact, investments extend beyond buying stocks and bonds. They encompass all consumer savings, what you put in your bank account, which is then used by banks to lend to firms, loans, which are used by firms to invest in their activity. Time for a quick exercise. What is the value of investment in a closed economy? Remember, a closed economy has no exports or imports. Here, Y is national income, C is consumption, T is taxes, and G is government spending. Is the value of investment equivalent to Y minus C minus T? Y minus C minus G? C plus G? Or there is not enough information? The correct answer is two. The value of investment in a closed economy is equivalent to national income minus consumption minus government spending. Let's recap. Households make decisions between consumption and saving. All after-tax income, which is not spent on consumption, becomes private savings. Government savings are equal to the difference between tax income and government spending. The financial system makes sure savings are invested in the most efficient investments. The financial system is important because it helps allocate the economy's scarce resources in the most efficient way. Thanks for watching. Check out Check for more resources on macroeconomics.